Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on debugging for functional consultants. Now let's get started. Okay, so today we will discuss about the output issue in the order. For example, this order 5051 has BA00 output has been assigned. Let me show you that. Go to the menu extras output header edit. You see BA00. So BA00 is a standard order confirmation output type. So I would like to see the print preview for this output type. How can how can I see that? In the menu sales document issue output to select this one then click on print preview see when i click on print preview nothing is getting displayed here let me do it one more time i will click on print preview now see nothing is coming here so i'm not able to see the output for this output type ba00 now let's see let's understand how to debug this issue what might went wrong so before going to debug this issue we should know one table that is t n a p r not it down this table it's a t n a p r so in the t n a p r table this is a table which will be having the information about the output type along with programs driver program okay and smart farms, Adobe farms, everything we can see here. So let me give you that uh, output type as BA00. And if I execute, you see this is the program and uh, this output type assigned to application V1. V1 is nothing but sales order only. V2 means shipping, delivery and all. V3 means it's a billing document output types like that. And one means medium, one means print output, two means fax, five means external send, six means EDI, A means ALE. Right? And if you see here for this print output, the smart form name, smart form, remember smart form name is SD underscore SD OC underscore FOR FG01. So let me show you where we can do this configuration first of all. I'm going to the T code NAC NAS and uh, let me scroll down applications V1 and uh, click on output types and uh, this is our BA00 output type. Double click on this one. Okay, let me go to the processing uh, routines. You see the processing routines. In the processing routines, we have defined same thing. Whatever we see the information here in TNA PR for this output BA00, same information we can see here in processing routines. So this information stored in the table TNA PR. Okay. So basically, how this output works means first the driver program will be called from the driver program. This smart form will be called. Okay. Let me show you that. Okay. So the first, the basic first program is RSNAS00. From this program only, driver program will be called from this output type. Inside this driver program, smart form will be called. If we are not able to see the print preview, right? Then what does it mean? Something wrong in the smart form. Then where should we start that uh, debugging? We should start the debugging in the driver program only because driver program will be calling this smart form. So driver program is nothing but the program in the Smart form. So this is the sorry in the TNAPR table for the output type. 
this is the driver program or program let me open this program in sc38 and uh, display okay let me apply the breakpoint now in the executable st executable statement okay so i will add the breakpoint in the line number 101 and you see here this program has one perform that is called a form routine the see entry okay you see here this one the entry that means this driver program called from this is the starting place of this driver program from here only the it will start so we need to apply breakpoint here so if you apply breakpoint here it might not sometimes called this form because uh, if any 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 other places anything condition sets not satisfied means this won't be triggered so we should always apply the breakpoint starting of the entry form only in this case entry in other cases it might be different so whatever we see in the form routine apply the breakpoint in the first executable statement in this form entry now what i will do i will go to this va03 screen cs document issue output to select this one and if you click print preview debugger will start you see the bottom debugger has been started now so now we have came to the debugger but let me tell you one more thing i am going to standard tab okay you see several tabs are here in another class i will explain you the different uh, difference between these tabs as of now let's focus on this one as i said earlier rs nash w0 program only called this program driver program and you see the rs nash w0 let me come here in the rs nash w0 program we have this tnapr ronm this nothing but an entry it's a form name entry it's a, it is in the driver program this is the program right hmm. so inside this it's called this driver program now we are in this program now let me go one by one so i am going to the processing perform now i am click f5 okay and i will click f5 again if i click f5 it will go inside see perform is nothing but in a, it's a it's a collective of codes inside this perform it's a group of codes written inside this it's not a single line it has some other line code also written inside this right if you click f5 it will go inside click f5 and i will if i click f5 again it will go inside this function model but i'm not going to go inside i will be executing going come out of this only okay click f6 and again f5 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 and again f6 again f5 f5 hmm. you see here it is uh, looking for an entry to this table lt mess see some code written to loop, run the loop on lt mess table as of now lt mess has nothing inside this see it has zero records you remember this zero means rows 14 means column so zero rows in this ltms run inter is a internal runtime it's a dynamic table it will be cleared once we finish the execution of this program it's a runtime data only it's temporary data as of now there is no entry here and uh, it is checking whether uh, g written code is initial yes it is initial it will go inside let's keep on going and f6 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 again f6 f6 f5 f5 and let me come out of this one means f7 okay and again f5 f5 f6 okay so if you see here 
now the the variable the field symbol gv written code is one now but there is a code written to check whether it is initial initial means zero nothing null but here it is having the value one as it is having the value one the system the code will come out of this program which program the processing form will be come out of this okay and let me go back to this one use the go to statement debugger go to statement i will go inside now f5 f5 and i'll make it as zero one more time let's understand where it's getting updated as one okay f6 again f6 f6 keep on going Mm, so here if you see here okay let me do it one more time i am clearing this one again making as zero and i am using good statement coming here to line number 408 go to statement if i click f6 so remember this this is a, this is a function module for that smart form so here with help of this function model only they are getting getting the smart form function model name this is smart form for the smart form they are getting the function model name with the help of this function model and they are going to call this function model to print the data so here if i click f6 so this is the place where smart form code will be triggered inside this only the layout will be displayed if i click f6 i'm getting such a process one one means usage error something i'm getting here right and there is a code written if uh, size server is not initial then what we are doing we are updating the size server value to this field symbol now it become you see as soon as zero if i click f6 or f5 the size server value will be moved to this gv written code value see now it become one again now we click f7 f7 see as it is one something wrong in that smart form something issue is there we need to deep debug it and understand what went wrong but uh, there is some issue inside the smart form that's why we are not able to see the print preview of that ba00 output type because it's returning the written code as zero so suppose it has been returning as value one so some issues are there in that layout so whenever you get any issues regarding any output types delivery invoice order shipment anything if you were not able to view that uh, layout means this is how we should debug it and understand what exactly went wrong where is the issue okay hope this video will be very helpful to you we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone